Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select this background layer and lock, select this list layer, let's see. Okay, and let's press P and create new parts in keyframe, move it down. Let's enable title action save and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard and move it up. Again, go to 10 keyframes, move it down. Again, 10 keyframes, move it up. Again, move it down. And again, move it up. And last keyframe, move it down. So, Select two frames and make it easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, so in this time, hold shift, press S, open scale, and click this icon. Go to first second. Let's create new scale two frame and change scale 80. And this 120. And let's move it down a little bit to down. And go to 10 two frames, change this 115 and this 80 go to 10 two frames change this 90 and this 110 again 10 two frames change 105 and this 95 and go to 10 two frames change 8 and this 102 and next two frame change 100 and this 100 so say two frames and make it easy let's preview animation Okay, not bad. In this time, select these scale two frames, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, pretty good. So, in this time, select this pencil, link to list layer, let's see. And press R. Let's go to first second, create new rotation two frame. And chain rotation like this. And go to 10 two frames. Let's change like this, go to 10 two frames, change again, again 10 two frames. Let's select two frames and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, and let's hold shift press P and go to five two frames, create new pass in two frame and go to here. Let's create new pass in two frame and move to the left and select this check layer, move to down. And select position two frame, move to like this, and go to two two frames, one, two, create new position two frame, and go to five two frames, let's move to down like this, and go to two two frames, one, two, create new position two frame, and go to five two frames, move to like this. Let's select work area, let's see. Nice. And select two frames, make it easy. So, go to back and select check layer, go to solo and select pen tool. Let's create mask like this, classification tool and go to FX presses, search FX stroke, select stroke, use for check layer and change brush size and paint style, choose reveal original image and right now let's change end 0 and let's enable pencil and create end keyframe go to here let's change end like this and go to next keyframe change 100 let's see nice so let's unsolo both layers let's see full animation Okay, and select this pencil, select first position in keyframe, make it easy, and go to graph editor, and select this first graph, make smooth animation. Okay, back to keyframes, and let's create rotation keyframe, and go to here, let's change rotation like this. Let's move to the left and here change zero. 
Okay, and go to here. Let's create new pass in two frame. And go to five two frames. Move to down. And select this check. Let's control D. Move to right. Press U. Select two frames. Move to left. Okay, and here let's move to right this layer. And move to down this duplicate layer. Okay, and select this pencil. Let's create new parts in keyframe and move to here. Go to two keyframes. Again, let's create new parts in keyframe and go to five keyframes. Move to down. Again, go two keyframes. One, two. Create new parts in keyframe and go to five keyframes. And move to right. And select these two frames. Move to left. Let's move to left more. Okay, nice. And select two frames, go to graph editor. Let's see graph. And select this graph, make smooth animation. And this move to the left. Okay, back to two frames. And go to here, let's create new parts in two frame. Again, go to two two frames and move to the down like this. And select check two. Control D for duplicate. Press U. Okay, and let's move to down. And let's see timing. Okay, select this Q frame. And let's move to here. And go to two Q frames, create new pass in Q frame, and go to five Q frames. Move to down. Again, two Q frames, create new pass in Q frame, and go to five Q frames. And move to right. Let's see. Let's select these checks three and move to right. And let's create new passing two frame for pencil and rotation. And go to here and let's move to right and chain rotation. Let's see. And go to graph editor and select passing two frames, go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Back to two frames, select rotation two frames, go to graph and make it smooth animation. And back to two frames and select these checks three, two and check layer, link to list, select list. And in driving times, go to three two frames, move to down, go to three two frames, move up. Let's see. Select these three passing two frames, hold Alt, move to right, move to right more. Okay, let's select this middle two frame, move to down more, and select these. Keyframe, copy and go to here, paste and select three two frames. Let's copy and let's see next drawing. And let's control V. And let's control V. And here again control V. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, let's go to here. And right now, create new pass in Q frame and go to next Q frame and move to left. Okay, and let's see. So, in this time, select pencil, go to edit and split layer and unlink. Select this none. Okay, select pass in Q frame for list, go to graph editor and make it smooth animation. So let's add some details. Let's close keyframe settings and create new layer. Add name grid and click OK. Move to behind of layers and search effect grid. Let's use for solid layer and change color to dark blue. Click OK. 
and let's turn off title action save and change opacity like this and size form choose with slider change slider like this okay let's see nice and let's search fxcc lens select lens use for grid and change size okay and go to window open animation comes as three start at precomps and shape elements i'm gonna use particle fireworks click at close window and move to up let's see timing okay let's use here press s chain scale let's see nice and let's go to back select this pencil 2 and press s let's create new scale keyframe chain scale 0 move to left and go to next keyframe change 120 go to next keyframe change 95 and next keyframe 100 and make it easy okay select this pencil scales move to right nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments have a good day